So this week, this week we are upgrading the water system in the greenhouse. We're preparing for the rain we're getting and uh, well, we're hopefully going to get and um, and we're making the roof on the goat house bigger because uh, we've got a lot of rain coming. And now that we sold Pearl, uh, our last turkey to go, we've um, put her house over Max's to give him, make him a lot more rainproof and uh, he can hide away from the thunder. And Andrea is doing more cherries. A cherry jam recipe. And something else. And something else. Yeah, Ooh. not telling you. Surprise. Yeah, try and fill that bucket up. Right. Okay, so uh, I'm giving Ange an upgrade on her water tank. It's empty and we know the rains are coming in a couple of days. So what we're going to do is remove the shelving and put the tank up here so she can run a hose pipe off it instead of filling watering cans to, um, to water everything. To make my life easier. So here goes. Anything to make your life easier. Happy wife. Happy life. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? I need to undo all these bits. How strong are you feeling? Uh, <laughs> uh, right, well, we need to get this cardboard out of the way, don't we? Yeah. We need cardboard. Yeah, that's too much. Right? Well, you go and find a couple more buckets. So after moving this around every which way but loose, we decided we're going to take this wall down one block. Easy stuff.
Okay. Attempt number two. Ready? Three, four. Come this way. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I thought you were turning it back to its original position. Okay. No, that's it, isn't it? Oh no. Sorry, no, it's got to go again, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. My fault. Yeah, it's not square. not square, is it? Yeah. No, that's fine, being out like that. Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just to take the weight. Yeah. 1,000 kilos. 2,200 pounds. Bargain. In weight. Oh. Okay, cool. So there we go. I um, couldn't help myself. I had to build two <laughs> rows of blocks to support it underneath. But because it's a lot of weight, 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilos. Um, taps on the back, all we need is an adapter to, to turn from this 32 mil MDPE into a flexible hose. Uh, I've run the gutter now. I've had it run it through the window. I didn't want to cut any glass, I couldn't cut the glass anyway, but, uh, and this has been wedged shut piece of board put in there so it flows straight in the top and um, yeah should fill that up in the overflow I've resealed it up there to run out the same place same pipe I uh, just may need to put something here up to the roof to support it in the middle well, there we go so now she'll have enough pressure <coughs> You'll have enough pressure to run a hose pipe here to water all these plants. Awesome. We also did a couple of floor repairs while we were here and then stood in them. Yeah, but uh, yeah, all good. So we've got a uh, tractor and trailer again with some roof tiles in the trailer. Or something over there we started and didn't film. <laughs> but we'll, we'll go over now and uh, yeah, show you what we're doing. So, what we did, uh, these frames we picked up from our friend Gregory. Uh, we've made a, a frame, so they've got a, so they'll have, they'll have a dry um, area that's not. Well, I suppose it's not. <laughs> it's just a, a dry somewhere we can feed them in the dry, basically. Yeah, but it's but it's outside. <laughs> and George is very curious, aren't you? What are you doing up there? I want to drive the tractor. You're not driving the tractor. So we're going to attempt to put the tractor there on the tripod, and uh, the goats aren't going to touch it. <laughs>
ね。So there we go, roof on, another shelter. What we're going to do is put a galvan sheet of galvanized on this side, maybe two, uh, just to keep, keep the wind off there. Give them somewhere that's sort of semi inside outside where they can just chew the card and things like that. And I'm going to have to think of something to go along this top edge. Uh, don't know what yet, but um, yeah, great success. <laughs> And the goats have been a great help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks, guys. It's awesome. What you need to do is have your babies. Yeah. What are you doing? Making a big noise. Aren't you? What are you doing, you mad thing? So, what we've done is a temporary solution for all the rain coming up. It's going to be very, very heavy rain. Max hates thunder and lightning. So we've taken, because we sold Pearl today. And the guy came and picked Pearl up, so her house was uh, uh, no longer Surplus needed. Surplus to requirements. Surplus to requirements. So what we've done is put her house over the top of Max's house. No, which is, is in there, yeah. Oh yeah, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Hey? Hey? Um, yeah, so he's got, he has a larger waterproof area um, to to reside in, yeah? <laughs> well, it just means he can sit there and it's sheltered. Yeah, it's got shelter out of the rain uh, and um, yeah, all good. It's made his home a lot, a lot better, hasn't it, mate? Eh? Hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. And if you can see, we've got, no longer got blue skies. We're all clouded up everywhere. Uh, oh, Boris in the tree. Yeah, that's what those birdies. Are. Yeah, Boris. Boris, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing up there? Fucking teasing Max and the birds. Yeah. Yeah, they're kicking off like that. Yes. Max would love to see Boris, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he'd love to see <laughs> Boris. <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah, that's brilliant. Big home for Max. Yes. And uh, only temporary because you know we're building him a proper big place up here, uh, which will second as a pig pen because Max is having a new home near the house when we build the barn but that's in the future hey Max <laughs> and so it starts as you can see we've uh, it started to rain the first of a good week's worth of rain so it should fill the pond back up should fill all our tanks back up yeah really really pleased for this stuff and it will water the garden and everything else. All the trees, all the land everywhere. Should put out any fires that are going. 
reduce the fire risk for a long period of time absolutely great so as you can see we've been given some bamboo by our friend Miguel uh, so I'm just going to go up into the goat paddock what well, was the goat paddock and plant it so there we are I'm going to plant them along here somewhere but while I'm up here I noticed Max is me it's me come here anyway I noticed um, a job that I've been meaning to do for ages uh, this is our water meter accessible from the public road uh, and I think when they put this new pipe into the property they just smashed the back of it out to join it up to the meter and uh, look the goats have been in here and exposed our pipe so I'm gonna have to dig around that and try and bury it a bit deeper Wow. So as you can see, this um, this broom here, Spanish broom, I think it is, has grown around the water pipe, <laughs> the roots. So I'm going to have to um, remove it and rebury the pipe a bit deeper. I know the the goats exposed it, but it could have been pushed up by this by the broom, you know. So yeah, I'm going to have to uh, clear that and get it out of the way and rebury it. Oh great, now the pipe's leaking. Really? Really? <laughs> oh well. I think I'm going to have to get a new joint because that's not good at all. See if I've got a new joint. So I don't have a new fake joiner, but I do have a new end. Uh, two different makes, so I don't know which make it will be. <coughs> so I'll replace that because I don't think this retaining clip here it's lost all its sharpness it's not gripping the pipe plus I'm going to do away with that joint so I'll put a new piece of pipe in this is brand new pipe I've got two bits of it Let's new pipe, although that's been used.
I might have to go and get a pair of grips. Ah, oh, if it's not one thing, it's another. I don't know why. That was done. No leaks. I know a lot of people are going to say I should have um, should have buried it in sand, etc., etc. But I'm, it's only temporary because I need to get a new joint there. And uh, what I'll probably do is backfill it with a weak concrete mix because they're so close to the surface anyway. So I'll put like a I don't know eight to one concrete on top or sand and cement mix, but a, a, a weak mortar mix <coughs> just to. Um, Make sure it stays there because if we do put, we're planning to put pigs in here or maybe move the goats back in here for the winter. So uh, it needs to be something a bit better than just a bit of dirt. Okay, so there's the uh, bamboo, the green bamboo planted. Yeah, we would like. We would like all this area to be, you know, a lot of people are going to say that the bamboo is going to take over, etc. It's exactly what we want this area here to be filled with bamboo. Uh, it's good feed for the goats, but also it provides shade and a bit of more privacy from the road. How those <laughs> one person a day comes down the road, but it just, uh, yeah, and we like bamboo, we like the look of it, so. There we go. And I had to get it in quick because look what's coming behind the trees. Hello, you're growing along nicely, getting your feathers. Yeah. Got nothing to say for yourselves. So, big problem that most people in Portugal have are if you have any tubing or holes in anything, uh, the paper wasps usually get in there. And um, I don't know if you can see in there. A little uh, hunkered down. But uh, yeah, I've got stung a couple of times now. <coughs> it's not feed time, guys. <coughs> Really? Gladys, why aren't you moving? <laughs> Gladys! No, I don't have to feed you. No, I don't have to feed you. 
Okay, so here we go, cherry jam. Cherry jam. Three kilos yep. of pitted cherries. Okay. Took ages. There they are. What's that one there? It'll taste a bit lemony. Ooh. Oh, I didn't enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn you. Stop sticking your fingers in where they don't belong. Okay. Ooh. I've got about, what we've got here, about half a litre of water. Right. Not quite. Not 568 millilitres is a pint. Yes, we know. And into that, I'm going to add juice of half a lemon. And no, actually, I'm going to juice both halves of the lemon. Okay, I'm got. I've put a little bit of lemon juice in this yesterday because I prepared these yesterday, and I just put some lemon juice over it to stop them oxidising too much. Um, and I'm also putting in the juice of a whole lemon and I'm also going to put these in because cherries are low pectin and lemons have higher pectin so this just helps with the setting and because I'm putting in big lumps it's going to be easy to take out <laughs> so it's just to give help with the setting process Right, I'll just turn that on for a minute. Now, I'm going to be doing a lower sugar ratio to fruit than a lot of the jam recipes call for. So like I said, I've got three kilos of cherries in here and I'm going to do a three to one. So one kilo of sugar. So basically, it's just throwing this all in and let it get up to um, the jam point. Now, I put that in a minute have one of these little beauties so a kitchen thermometer with both Fahrenheit and centigrade on it and we're looking for the ah oh, that's a soft rot I can't see from there so there should be a a rolling yeah it's just jam there yeah that's right I have my finger over it so there's the jam hang on let me get it in the light how's that that's too so I'm going to put that into the, the mixture so it comes up to temperature with the mixture rather than dropping it in and shocking it. <laughs> this is going to go into the mixture like so. I need to be able to see it. This way it can come up to temperature without me just going, oh it looks like it's about ready, I'll throw it in and it's going to shock it. So. So there, so I just wait for this to happen and we come back to the jamming process. Okay. Okay. Right, this has been coming up to temperature, but what I'm going to do now is take out the lemon bits. Like so. I'll find the other one now. <laughs> Let me say, how can half a lemon disappear? and add the rest of the sugar now this needs to come up to a nice rolling boil but first of all I'm going to mash up the cherries so then they're not quite so whole, quite chunky. So, quite so chunky so I'll just take that out for a couple of minutes Just waiting for it to get up to temperature. It is at, oh it's got a couple of degrees more to go and then I need to let it continue rolling boil for five minutes. This scum that develops on the surface is actually nothing to worry about, it's just bubbles, but to get rid of it we add a knob of butter. So once the rolling boil part is done I can throw in some bit of butter, a little gentle stir and then 
readily preparing for the bottling stage. So these are some jars I've got sterilising at the moment. All cover stuff. And yeah, jam everywhere at the moment, splatters anyway. <laughs> So while Ange is making jam, I quickly knocked up a table uh, for the glass top we have. Um, which is going to sit inside this little rebate here, which I've nailed and glued on. Uh, I've done it, no fancy joints on this table. I've got the, the square legs. I've, I've fixed, I've drilled and countersunk down through here into the leg, and I've put one going diagonally across like that. Really simple stuff that I forgot to film. So um, there you go. There's the table. I'll varnish it now, or we'll put some sort of sealer on it, and then we'll take it up to the office and put the tabletop in. Hopefully it'll fit. So I've got this water-based, um, what is it? So it says in colour, so it's no colour, uh, just a water-based sealant really. I'm going to do it with the roller, because I find it much quicker. So well, that's a quick coat of varnish on that one. So as you saw, uh, we run out of gas halfway through the rolling boil. Uh, is that going to have a disastrous effect? Of course not, darling. No? No. Okay. So we're going to get it back up to temperature now before yeah. we can do the... What other bit? It, I need to let it boil for five minutes at this sort of temperature so it does what we call a rolling boil. Yeah. No stirring, just let it jowdle away and splatter cherry jam juice everywhere yeah and then turn the heat off when that once I've turned that off I can then get these jars out of the water here which I'm using to sterilize it and then put the hot, wa hot water into the jars put the hot jam into the jars and then back into the bath to seal them yeah or preserve them yeah Okay, so this has now been re-rolling, boiling, so I'm just about to turn it off. Okay. Okay, right, get rid of the thermometer a moment. Just let that cool down. And into that I'm going to put a little bit of butter. Maybe a little bit more just. How much? Yeah. Now, thank you Sandra and Raymond, look what I have, a, something to actually hold this out with, oh they're hot, so this is still the bit I really hate doing. But that is so much easier. I know there's still some more in there, but there's so much easier than... Trying to scoop it out with a, with a what's it called? Well, put my gloves on and try not to burn myself in the usual. These are recycled um, bean jars or 
whatever sauce we would have bought. Well, it would be beans, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's normally chickpeas or tremos or... Chickpeas and tremos. Uh, so this jar handler thing, I just, it's fascinating. There's actually no hinge. It's just the way it's manufactured like that. that. There's no hinge point, so very, yeah. very clever. Well, there is a hinge point, it's there, but there's no like pin or anything. Like that. So we now have lovely hot jammy stuff, which I should just get rid of that spoon in it. And Sandra and Ray Raymond again, thank you very much. They got me one of these little funnel things, so hopefully it should make the, the process a little less messy for me. Easier. Yeah. Pouco mais. Da, there, like that. Thank you guys, that's brilliant. Now that do all the rest. Yeah. Right, so I've got five and three quarters jars, which too bad. I always, this pot will hold um, two, four, seven jars. I can't count. <laughs> so I always prepare seven because you never know. So these guys now, oh, this is so much easier with this little holdy thing. Now, once I've got them all in, I need to make sure that the water level is above the lids. So why are you putting it back in the water? This will do like a final preservation with it. Final sterilisation yeah. type thing. Okay. And basically it means the shelf life will be, well, realistically it will Forever? Be, yeah. <laughs> well, as long as the lids don't rust. Yes. Like so. That these are staying here for sort of quarter of an hour, 20 minutes once they're up to temperature. Um, you'll hear the lids pop. Yeah. So that's, they've, they're drawn in and that means that they've sealed. So I'm expecting to hear six little pops at some stage. There you go, cherry jam. Jamming. <laughs> So here comes the tricky part. Uh, my plants. <laughs> my plants. <laughs> Nicely. Ta da! I'll have a go up there. It's a little bit of an awkward place for a table. It'll be fine. Hello, darling. Who put this table here? <laughs> Oh. I'll try not to scrape it here. Yeah. <laughs> Another old man noises. It don't fit. So there it is. Uh, fitted. Nearly. Nearly, yeah. now we've got to get the glass top. Yeah, that's going to be the fun part. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to carry it up like that. Yeah. If you want to go first, you've got to have the weight at the bottom, yeah? Okay. You can go a couple of stairs at a time and rest right, if you want. It's probably better if I go that way, isn't it? Yeah. So we need to go back. We've got Put it. hand underneath it. Yeah, have you got it? Yeah, here you go. I need to go... Right. I 
So there we have it, table fitted and working. Uh, so now Ange can get a sewing machine, get a chair up here and stuff, and more office stuff. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Uh, five and three quarter pots of jam, cherry jam, all done. All done, babe. So that's all we have time for this. Friday. Friday. H hope you enjoyed it and um, yeah. Still lots more see? cherries to pick and, and stuff. We, we but, promise we'll yeah. do no more cherry recipes. No. That's it now. That's <laughs> it for the cherry recipes. Um, <laughs> I've still got loads to do but we're getting there. Okay so next Tuesday. Tuesday is our 150th video. Woo! So what we thought we'd do is an update of uh, like a Q&A thing. So if you guys want to send us in some questions, stuff you want to know, now we've been here for four years, uh, yeah, send us in the questions in the comments of this video and we'll try and answer them on Tuesday. Um, also, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that little notification bell ding, ding. on all our videos. On of all course. our videos, of course. Uh, yeah, so if there's anything you want to know about um, the, four, the four <laughs> years that we've been here, all that stuff, then uh, yeah, just let us know. Uh, let, let us know, know in the comments. Well, also let us know where you're from as well, you know, like, because it's really interesting to see who's or whereabouts we're reaching out to. It's, it's just really mm -hmm. interesting from our point of view as well. So, you know, if you've got a question, let us know what it is and obviously where you're from as well. And it, we can say uh, hello to wherever you are in the world then yeah so that'd be really good so any questions about the goats the pigs why we got rid of the turkeys why we're changing the chickens all that type of stuff uh yeah just ask away why we're here yeah <laughs> maybe this has something to do with it yeah but um nothing too deep in philosophy no 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 uh so anyway guys see you on tuesday bye bye just a quick one by the way <laughs> We've still not had any rain. We've had no. five minutes worth of uh, shower. That was it. Yeah, we've we've missed. There's a few <coughs> areas that had a lot of hail and quite a big downpour. But uh, we had a little bit of rain yesterday, which was Wednesday. Yeah. Um, but nothing. I mean, if you just scrape the surface off when we got because we we'd gone out. Um, when we came back, when you scrape the surface of the, yeah, the ground, it's, just dry. it's dry again so underneath. We, we're, so we're desperately we're still desperate for rain. Yes. So there we go.